and I know that as I keep going, I'm gonna keep helping people um, connect their spirit, body, and mind all together the same way I've done it for myself because I'm gonna continue to grow in my level of frequency and I'm gonna help other people rise to a higher frequency and that's just gonna be how it goes. I can say personally, I'm in a much better position to even do this because um, when you come to realize yourself, you actually have a lot of um, emotions that come up from incorrect indoctrination or incorrect information that you've already accepted. So it's a lot of forgiving that you have to do for yourself because you've been lying to yourself. Not only have you been lying to yourself, you've been allowing other mothers and fathers to lie to you. I, you thought I was gonna curse too, huh? Look, it's a lot of unwrapping we have to do. You have to realize, you gotta look in the mirror and be able to love yourself. If you can't right now, you in trouble. You in trouble. Like, peep this. Our value systems were given to us in a set format that caused us to actually depreciate our own inner value. And on top of that, it caused us to not understand what true value is and use our money for other reasons. You understand what I'm saying? When I was growing up, I couldn't count the times people asked me if I was an ass man or a titty man or a boobies man, whatever you want. But nobody ever asked me if I prefer to pay attention to a woman's mind or her heart first. You know what I'm saying? We never talked about women in a higher value system. We talk about their physical feet. Big game. As a collective, we have now agreed upon what we look to women to visualize or to identify. And this happens everywhere because everybody's asking the same questions. What happens to the women now? Every time you see them, you only look for those things. Now, to the women who don't actually resemble excessive amounts of those features, they feel less than even though they shouldn't. And the women who believe this, uh, this group thought, they over there G-string popping and shaking the ass cheeks, okay? So, I'm about to get out of here, but popping and shaking them ass cheeks is not the problem. Because if you're in a relationship, you gotta have some flavor, but look, when we as a group value such images, we devalue the other things about women like their intellect and by the way they speak and by the way they carry themselves, which are way more important. Before you realize it, a woman that can code or write books or anything like those things are not important anymore because everybody in the group mind is responding to what they've been instructed to think. Pretty much in a nutshell, if you don't do what society asks for you to do, you're not relevant. For example, me, I'm speaking the truth, I'm sharing love and light, I'm allowing people to understand who they truly are. But nobody wants to look at me because I'm not a pastor sitting in a hierarchy somewhere. Let's not forget that everyone has been instructed and told that Jesus is going to come externally to save them and that's who's supposed to be God, it's a man. But let me ask you this, have you ever seen a man on this planet who was ever created an account for himself if you've never seen him? They still came from a woman though. So how come God? So thanks to that confusion and the media's representation of what a beautiful person is or a beautiful woman is, our black women are now looking for an image and they're looking for an image in other races rather than looking in the mirror and realizing God within. This is our situation. So if you are a black woman out there, you understand the game, you see how they try to do it and um, you're working on yourself, you're loving yourself more and more every day. It's gonna be challenging, but let me let you know, like you've already done a lot of the issues. Like you've come to realization is a, the hugest part, you know what I'm saying? It's a daily thing, and we're with you, I'm with you.